Hi, I'm Nancy Norcross, and I'm a literacy tutor learner coordinator for Read San Diego. Read San Diego is a literacy program that serves adults. We help them better read and write, like so many other literacy programs throughout California and the country. Today we have a pair um, of a tutor and a learner who are working together to set their goals for the future, as well as review the goals that they have accomplished so far. I'd like to introduce you to our tutor, Jim, and our learner, Tim. I became interested in tutoring uh, because I was, uh, for about the last 13 years before I retired, I uh, worked in uh, private industry as an instructor. When the first statistic I actually heard, which encouraged me to become a tutor, was that about 25% of the uh, adult population in the state of California was functionally illiterate. And I was astounded at that uh, statistic. I started uh, hunting around and uh, I found Reed San Diego and that's uh, who I allied myself with uh, to becoming a tutor. So to become even a better tutor, I went back to State University and got a certificate in applied linguistics and ESL. Since then, I've been working with Reed San Diego as a tutor and an assessor. And uh, I think we uh, who are so fortunate sometimes take for granted the fact that many, many others uh, can benefit from, again, what we just take for granted. So that was my reasoning behind becoming a tutor. It has done a great deal for me. It's, uh, uh, it's amazing the good feeling you get when you can assist someone else into relieving the stress in their life and the problems that are caused by the fact that they are functionally illiterate. I came to read San Diego in the uh because of the divorce, and I was uh, suggested to my therapist to come to read San Diego or to the library to get help with my reading problem. It's awfully hard to uh, keep asking people to help you read papers and letters and answer stuff and make out checks. And I've been in the program now about six and a half years, and I, I've came, I feel I've come quite a ways. And it just you know, gives me a lot more satisfaction of what I do in my life. I have a, uh, another program, 12-step program that I work with that has a lot of uh, reading and paperwork and stuff to do with it too. And I, you know, I'm learning a lot more about that to make my life a lot more easier and better. Morning, Tim. Morning, How Jim. Doing? How are you doing this morning? Oh, I'm not doing well. I'm doing okay. Um, what I wanted to do this morning, Tim, we've been kind of, uh, you know, we just finished the post assessment. Mm -hmm. And what we want to do is kind of review where we've been uh, kind of see where we want to go from here. Right. So um, I think I'd like to just start by asking, in your mind, what do you think we have actually accomplished? Well, we've accomplished so far. I've gotten my driver's license. Um, you know, it took us, what, six months or so to get that done. Well, I know we went through yeah. the manual twice, but yeah. I think that was well worth the time. Oh, yeah, because I, you know, I didn't miss any on the test when I took it, and, and it's very unusual for me because I... Uh, you know, I had a California license before, and then when I moved to Arizona, I had to get it over there, but they only have like 12 ounce questions over there, mm -hmm. and I still had to take it twice, you know. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. But it was nice that you were able to do it on oh. your own, which was what you had wanted to do. Right. I mean, that was the reason for well, doing it. Well, besides that, and it, you'd understand it and uh, not being confused. Um, can you think of anything else, though, that maybe you have accomplished? How about, oh, you know, you were talking about you were writing letters to your, to your children. Oh, it helps a lot with those because I can, you know, I don't have to can write it down and then I go back through and uh, check the spelling and stuff. I don't have to, uh, I, I can realize how many words that I picked up that I can write now that I couldn't before when you get them spelt right. Mm -hmm. And then how I can figure, sit down and figure them out, how, you know, sound them out and break them down. We used to have to use the dictionary a lot. You right. know, used to go back mm -hmm. and check the dictionary constantly to check on the spelling. Mm -hmm. And I think you're improving there. You're not having to go back quite so often. Not so often. And it makes it a lot easier, too, because I'm learning how to use it more. And it's you know, easier to find what I'm looking for in the, in the dictionary because I don't have to fight to find every little thing. And, you know, it just makes it a whole lot easier. Okay. How about self-esteem, though? What has it done in that area? Well, quite a bit. I, you know, I can feel because I, you know, I'm in a 12-step program, and uh, I can stand up in front of a room of people and talk to them now, and you know, and tell them what's going on with me. Um, as far as the books that we're using now, I, I think you know we're using the words books, mm -hmm. and I think it's great. We need to have some actual structure 
uh, to work within, mm -hmm. and we can you know digress and and uh, from here, uh, which we do quite right. frequently. But mm -hmm. I think it's really helpful to have a basic structure to work with. And do you find this um, helpful? Oh, I mean, yes. the words that we've been yeah. Words well, I find out, you know it's. Uh, it's a lot of repetition, but that's the way, you know, I'm going to have to learn is by just get doing it over and over and over, and that's what this book does, and it, uh, but it gives you enough ahead of yourself, it doesn't make it boring, mm -hmm. you know, we're always making a step ahead, and I can, you know, I can see the difference in myself, too, in different, uh, reading, you know, newspapers and, and making out checks and bills and stuff like that compared to what I couldn't do, you know, three I think I think ago. the rules are helpful, I mean, it isn't something that you have to, you know, you have to just necessarily memorize, but once you have the rule, uh, if it works for you, you know, use it. Mm -hmm. And otherwise, a lot of this you'll just get just by doing. Right. Know? And repetition is a really important way to do that. Mm -hmm. so, uh, and again, I think it's real, real helpful to have a structure to work within. Yeah. Um, you know, you know, and you know, we've gone through the book before, and, and you know, it. Uh, to me, it really helped because they, they do it step by step. They do. One, one, one session builds right. on the other. Right. So uh, I, think, I think it is helpful to have a structure. Right. How do you, uh, how do you feel that uh, your self-esteem has improved? Well, I feel it's improved quite a bit because I, I've never been able to stand up in front of people and talk before because I would always get confused and I didn't feel uh, really good about myself about the way I talked. You know? But now that I'm in a 12-step program and you know, we have to share a lot of our stuff, it makes it a lot easier for me to do that now. Uh, how, how about the personal aspects of, uh, of your accomplishments, like in letter writing and so on? I write to my kids, you know, try to keep in contact with them. We had a, you know, a nasty divorce and uh, real rough on the kids, so they don't like being keeping contact with us. So, I, you know, I try to write, you know, a couple times a year to just try to keep in contact with them. You know, it makes me feel good that if, as I go along, if you know, if my skills get better, maybe they can see that I'm getting better too, you know, not that I'm Now as far as, as what you've already accomplished, what are some of the things that you think is for the future that you really would like to do? I know we talked before about uh, perhaps uh, working with the pre-GED and maybe going on into the GED if that works, you know. Uh, how do you feel about doing something that would actually help to improve your writing, you know, just by going through some of these basic things? Yeah, you know, well, right now in my period of my life, I don't need the GED because I'm retired. I don't have to, you know, uh -huh. to have it to get a job or anything, but it would, it would be nice to have it. It would be nice to be able to, you know, sit down and uh, be able to read what I wanted to when I want to and not have to struggle with it. And, you know, I, you don't actually have to take the exam, you know, just to get the benefit right, from the book. Right, right. And I think here again it provides a, 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 a good structure to work within as, as far as a sentence structure, mm -hmm. paragraph structure, and journal writing, things like this, which actually improve. You do so well on, oh, well, you do real real well on decoding and reading, mm -hmm. but you really need more practice with encoding Coding. or writing. Right, so, right. Um, I think these things are going to provide, you know, uh, a better facility for you to work right. with. Yeah. Um, also, what, uh, what other goals that you had mentioned before to me about I think you were talking about getting a welding welding certification. Yeah, I would like to get a certification in welding. I, I can weld and everything, and uh, I've been doing it for a long, long time. And I would like to understand why certain metals take certain rods, which I do uh, without even thinking about it. But I would like to know why, you know, what mm -hmm. what rod number, the numbers on the rods, what, what one has the nitrogen in and uh, all this other kind of stuff. And it'd be nice nice to know because I've always wondered about it. Uh, because I think you learn better because you're used to doing the, what we call it, uh, kinesthetic, the tele, the tele kinesthetic uh, approach right. uh, to learning. And again, that's just nothing more than manipulation. It's hard to say. But um, we, we use that especially for people that have uh, your kind of aptitude, you know, where you're used to moving your arms and working with your hands. Mm -hmm. and that seems to reinforce what you're right. You're yeah, it's, so. You know, I could, that's the way I've learned everything so far is hands-on. Yeah. Well, everybody yeah. learns, you know, a little bit differently. We all use, you know, the sight and the sound mm -hmm. and, and the manipulation part. Right. But depending on, you know, each individual is where that, uh, that particular individual has, you know, has the most effective uh, use of those three. So it's, right. it's kind of a blend of all, but mm -hmm. everybody varies. So, okay, well, that sounds good. Do you have anything else that you were thinking about specifically for future accomplishments? Well, the only thing I, for future is after I get done with the welding course, I may like take a uh, 
class on automatic transmissions. Ah. You know, because I can do manual transmissions, okay. but the automatics are kind of kind of different in there. You know, and they're all advancing now with the computerized and all the other kind of stuff. So, it's but just you worked a lot with heavy equipment too, didn't you? Right. Yeah. So, but this, you know, that's something I could do kind of easy now with my back, as I want to lift up mm -hmm. real heavy stuff. So it'd be easier than trying try to do heavy equipment and stuff. So. Okay. I think Tim, this has also helped in other areas of your life, has it not? Sort of in your personal areas, as far as uh, some of these accomplishments that you've done. Oh yeah, it's made it a lot easier for me to do recipes. You can also follow along in your twelve-step program. Is that true? Mm, quite some bit better than what I used to. Okay, you know, I make out what's going on. And how? Okay, uh, Tim, how long have you been in the twelve-step program? I've been six and a half years. It's been that long. Yeah. Yeah, I just started both these about the same time. Okay, Tim, something else you mentioned as far as something that you would like to do, I know, was uh, get a welding certification. Right, you know, I, I, I've welded for a long time, I'm self-taught, but I, uh, I'd like to know why that certain rods do certain things. Also said that you, you work for the learner, you work with the learner orientation program. Right, right. And uh, tell me something about that. Well, it's explained to the, to the new lear learners coming in. Um, about what's expected of them, you know, being, being prompted, you know, on your appointments, and if you can't make a call, and let somebody know that you're not going to be there so that the, the teacher's not sitting there waiting for you, and be courteous. And um, I get, you know, I get a lot out of it, because there's usually, out of one or five meetings, I'll find somebody that's in the same program I am, you know, an AA, and it's kind of nice to... Uh, Break the ice with that mm -hmm. because you know it's 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 hard to walk through the door and ask for help. You know, you know with me being disabled and can't work anymore, I'm able to give something back uh, to help other people that I've never done before too. Mm -hmm. You know, and it makes it makes me feel real lot lot more uh, accomplished in what I can do. And you were telling me something uh, several reasons why you wanted to uh, improve the speed of your writing, and one of them had to do with uh, I think the. Uh, Caller ID on your telephone? Right. There's several different things. Uh, like, you know, when you have your answer machine and people call and leave mm -hmm. their number, you know, uh, sometimes it's hard to get their names off it. And usually, you know, when everybody puts their telephone number down on the machine, they say it so fast that I can't pick it up. I can pick up the first two or three prefixes, but then after that, I'm lost and I have to keep going over and over and over. And I get, get pretty frustrated, uh, you know. And, all, uh, and further, Tim, you were mentioning something about being able to. Uh, also, by increasing your speed, you'd be able to read the captions or subtitles right. on the television. Yeah, you know, you have, uh, especially like, you know, on cable TV, they'll tell you what's coming up next. Mm -hmm. You know, well, I can't make it out what's coming up next, so I'll flip from station to station and go back and see what's on, if that's something I wanted to watch. Mm -hmm. Then nine times out of ten, I forget what station it was on, so i got to go back and forth and try to realize what's going on. It gets kind of frustrating, you know, after a while. Um, any other areas that you can think of, perhaps, in in your personal or your life skills area you know, just, that, you know, that you want to work on? Just get my general reading and spelling speeds up to snuff where it's easier for me to, uh, to do things. It's not frustration where I can enjoy it mm -hmm. and uh, get something out of it for myself, too, as well as trying to get back to somebody else. You okay. know, like trying to do stuff to read San Diego. You know, they, you know, uh, I really enjoy giving my time back to them because they're, you know, for the last six and a half years, they've been, you know, helping me out with a little bit of everything in my life. It was like, you know, like you volunteering your time to help me, you know. Well, but you know, it takes, you have, uh, have actually focused in on what we are trying to accomplish, and that's, that's helpful, too, because not, an awful lot of people don't really, uh, you know, work hard at what they're trying to accomplish. So yeah. um, that's appreciated as well. Tim, uh, today in working with our word families, uh, instead of, uh, of just using a tablet, Mm -hmm. um, what would you like to do? Would you like to actually, you know, work with the large motion, or would you rather work in uh, in the sand? Uh, would you rather work with the cards, or would you rather work on the board? Oh, I think I'd rather work on the board today. Okay, uh, why don't you use the board? Because okay, I know more. being mechanically inclined, you prefer a lot of the larger movements associated with the tactile kinesthetic. So, we'll do that. Okay, why don't we? Uh, we're going to start, we're going to use the endings of the, let's just use A-N endings today. A -N. So let's work with A-N A -N. as the basic part of our word family. A-N. Just A, A -N. and an N. 
Okay, so we're going to start with a single syllable. So suppose I said tan. Tan? Tan. Tan. Okay. And what do we have? Tan. Spell tan. it for me. T A N. Okay, tan. so we have t and right? Tan. tan. Mm. All right, now how about man? Man. Man. M A N. Good. Man. Okay. Man. All right, how about pan? Pan. pan. P A N. Okay. Pan. Good. Pan. Now, uh, pan. Span. Span. S I'm going to cross the span. Very good. S -P okay, S -P great. S -P All right, span. Span. Spanned. Okay, now how about the word hand? Hand. Use my left hand. Hand, hand, hand. H A. Mm hmm. One help, please, John. Hand. H. Work with them. They're not really, but that, they right. all go together. Oh, there it is. 